Whenever I do an interview with the Matrix Media, they don't, nobody believes they have to turn the comments off because everyone in the comments are just ripping them apart. Well, you do seem very sad on the verge of killing yourself, are you? Absolutely not really not, I never would. And, and that's what- <laughs> You said that, I know. <laughs> I have to keep saying it. I have to keep saying it because it's, it's scary, right? But I, I believe you get three lives. I think they cancel you initially. And then when that fails, they try and put you in jail without a reason. And if that fails, there's only one option left after that. That's right. So it's, I'm in a very scary scenario, but I guess the same as the men on the Titanic just couldn't get on the lifeboat. I just can't stop saying what I believe to be true. If a young man comes to me and says he's depressed, I'm gonna tell him how to be become a kind of man who's proud of himself. And if that makes him the kind of person that resists slave, and slave programming, I'm always gonna be public enemy number one. You've said depression isn't real or it's not as the way we describe depression isn't accurate. What, what do you think of depression? When I say depression isn't real, what I'm, that really upset the world, especially the liberals, because they all live on medication, right? When I say depression isn't real, I'm saying that because I don't believe in things that can take away power from me. If I believed in depression, I would have been depressed in jail. But I can't be depressed if I don't believe in it. If you don't believe in ghosts, how can you be haunted? You have two people in a, in a haunted house. One believes in ghosts, one doesn't. There's a knock in the night. One wakes up, calls an exorcist, is terrified, looks for a ghost. 